implicit differentiation. Bit of background? That's beautiful. If we have to differentiate x into y minus 1 equals 3y plus 2, we're going to have to get y as the subject of the formula. There we are. Multiply out, collect y terms, common factor of y, divide. Now we can differentiate. So it's a quotient rule and there's our derivative by quotient rule. This is a bit more difficult. Now we have to get y as a subject to the formula, but we have y squared and y. So we're going to have to write that as a quadratic equation in y, and then use quadratic formula. So here we are. Everything to the left. Our a is 1, b is x, and c is minus x squared minus 1. Using quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4, a is 1, C. Simplifying inside, there we are, and I'm going to write it in a form that allows me to differentiate. To differentiate, two terms, differentiate this term, differentiate that term. There we are. So the derivative of minus half x minus half plus or minus, differentiate that by chain rule. Half bracket to the minus half, half bracket to the minus half, times derivative of the inside, 10x. Get rid of the negative exponent by writing this in the denominator, and we end up with the square root of 5x squared plus 4. We can write that as 5x squared plus 4 all to the half as well. Implicit differentiation uses a classical principle of equations, and that is that what you do to the left, you do to the right. So if f of x equals g of x, the derivative of f of x equals derivative of g of x. Here's an example here. We actually do this already, because when we're taking that equals that, we get a differentiate. We differentiate the left, we differentiate the y, uh, right. There we are. When you differentiate y, you get dy by dx. When you differentiate x squared minus 5x, you get 2x minus 5. So we have, in a way, been using it already. So let's have a look at number 1 now. We're going to go back to question 1. I'm going to multiply it out again, but then from there our method is going to differ. There we are, multiply it out. Now I'm going to take different derivative of left equals derivative of right. I can separate the derivatives, separate the derivatives. Now notice that is a product rule. x times y. And x is fine, but y is a function in x. So that actually is a composite function. We don't know what y is equal to. So when we differentiate that, we have to write dy by dx. So Derivative of xy minus derivative of x equals derivative of 3y plus derivative of 2. The red, there's our product rule. Derivative of x times y plus x times derivative of y. Minus 1 equals 3 derivative of y and 0. Collect dy by dx terms, common factor and divide. And there is our derivative. And it's fine if there's a y within the derivative because in applying the derivative we always know the original equation. Well usually we'll know the original equation which means knowing an x we can find the y and then we substitute into the derivative. Let's go back to number two. This is this one that we had to write as quadratic formula. It was a terrible hoo-ha. Well, let's have a look now. I'm going to differentiate both sides. So there we are. Derivative of the left equals derivative of the right. Now I'm going to differentiate y squared. That there is a chain rule. It is a composite function. y squared. Now y is some function of x. So when we differentiate this, we're going to differentiate the outside. 2y to the 1. Then we're going to have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which will be dy by dx. So there we are. 
2y times dy by dx already goes to ready equals derivative of x squared 2x derivative of xy product rule derivative of x times y plus x times derivative of y and then derivative of 1 is 0 take away the brackets collect dy by dx terms take out a common factor divide there is our derivative once again containing y's but that's fine quite a bit easier than that whole quadratic formula set up and once we start using logarithms in the implicit differentiation in other words logarithmic differentiation it makes differentiation so much easier the most complex of expressions let's look at another example now here we are now we have a product rule product rule we have a composite rule within that y to the 4, so it's a chain rule question, and here we have a chain rule. So, derivative of left equals derivative of right. So we'll look, x y to the 4, that's a product rule. Derivative of x times y to the 4 plus x times derivative of y to the 4, chain rule, 4y cubed, there we are, times derivative of the inside, which is dy by dx, plus 4x cubed y, there we are, plus x to the 4, and then derivative of y is dy by dx, equals, when you differentiate e to the x plus y, you get back e to the x plus, plus y. Remember that the exponential function is its own derivative. Multiply by derivative of the inside function, because we're doing chain rule, derivative of x is 1, derivative of y is dy by dx. There we are. Now, what I've done is simplified slightly, but I've written the terms containing dy by dx in another color, because now I'm going to collect those terms and collect the independent, the terms independent of dy by dx. There we are. Everything with dy by dx on the left, the rest on the right. Common factor dy by dx, divide. And there we are. Very clever. Oh, this looks simple, but just hang on, hang on, and let's wait and see. Right, so now we have to differentiate this trigonometric plus normal variable equation. We get to take derivative of the left equals derivative of the right. Now, this is a composite function. So, derivative of sine is cos, and then we have to differentiate the inside. So we're going to get cos of x plus y, there's the derivative of the outside. We're differentiating sine. Now we need to multiply by the derivative of x plus y, which is 1 plus and the derivative of y, dy by dx, equals derivative of x and derivative of y, dy by dx. Multiply out. Collect dy by dx terms. There we are, all collected on the left, little gathering place there and on the right we have the terms independent of dy by dx common factor dy by dx divide and there we are finished let's have a look at a few more examples right D implicit differentiation I'm going to multiply these out makes it a bit easier right, now I'm going to use product rule chain rule in fact, also chain rule here. There we are. Product rule, derivative of x, derivative of 3y squared is chain rule because y is the inside function, therefore dy by dx. Y is an inside function here, so it's dy by dx. Collect dy by dx terms, factorize, divide. There we are. Let's look at the next one. Right, this is straightforward. Differentiate, differentiate, derivative, derivative, derivative. Right, derivative of x squared 2x. Derivative of y squared chain rule, so it's 2y times dy by dx, y is the inside function, equals naught. dy by dx collected, divide. Oh, and the 2's cancel. There we are. Number 1.3.
diff der derivative of both sides. So derivative, 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 derivative. Phew, I got through that tongue twister. Chain rule, 2y times dy by dx, y is the inside function. Here is product rule, so 2x times y plus x squared times derivative of y plus x squared derivative of y minus chain uh, the product rule again, so I'll put it in brackets. Derivative times y squared plus x times derivative. There it is there. Notice chain rule. Minus 1 deriv derivative and differentiate negative y, you get negative dy by dx. A bit of algebra, multiply out, collect the dy by dx's, take out a common factor, divide. Phew. Next one. Now we're on to much the same sort of thing. Product rule, differentiate, product rule, goodbye sweetheart. Here we are, 